Shalom, and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. Shalom, and welcome to our Biblical Hebrew podcast. Today, I wish to speak about the eye. Humans and animals have eyes. What is the quality of the eye? What does the eye reflect? Why do we have two eyes and not one? Let's look into the Hebrew letters. The Hebrew word for eye in English, E-Y-E, is Ein, Ein. The word Ein is written in three letters. Ein, Yod, Nun Sufit. The volume of the word Ein is 130. For the letter Ein equals 70. The letter Yod equals 10. Together they make 80. And the letter nun sofit equals 50. So 80 plus 50 is 130. 130 is a number that represents love and mercy for 130 is 10 times love. Love in Hebrew, ahava, ahava, ahava is 13. And 10 times love is 10 times 13, is 130. Also, 10 times 1, echad in Hebrew, is 130. So, the volume of the word ein is 130, like the volume of 10 times love and 10 times 1. Also, like the volume of the word Sinai, Sinai, Mount Sinai, Sinai also has the volume of 130. But since we have two eyes, and every eye equals 130, both eyes is 130 plus 130 is 260. 260 is 10 times the tetragrammaton. So each eye equals five times the tetragrammaton. The tetragrammaton is 26. The tetragrammaton is the name of God in four letters, Yod, He, Vav, He. And the sum of its letters is 26. 26 double five is 130. So each I in Hebrew reflects Five times the tetragrammaton. And together both eyes ten times the tetragrammaton. Or the word vineyard. Vineyard in Hebrew is kerem. Kerem. Kerem is written in three letters. Kaf is 20. Reish is 200. Together they are 220. And mem is 40. So kerem vineyard is 260. Please pay attention to those relations. Ein in Hebrew is also a word that means stream of water. In Arabic, they use the same name, the same word, Ein, Ein, like En Gedi. So Ein is not just the eye, but also a source of water, a source of life. This is why David said in Psalms, 119 verse 18 Gal einai reveal my eyes veabit niflaot mitoratecha and I shall be able to see or to watch the wonders of your instructions, the wonders of your insights, 
the wonders of your light and illumination. David said, Gal Einai. Gal meaning reveal. Einai, my eyes. My eyes. The word Einai, my eyes, is written in four letters. Ein, Yod, Nun, Yod. The volume of the word Einai, my eyes, equals 140. For the letter Ein equals 70, plus Yod, which is 10, is 80, plus Nun, which is 50, it's 130, plus Yod, is 140. So in the word Einai, my eyes, we see the relation between, if we take the zero of 140 aside, we see the relation between one to four, the relation between the source and the multiplicity or the expansion in time. And in a way, David asks, reveal my eyes in what way? that I shall be able to see the wonders, how the one, how the source expands through the four, and I shall be able to see the four, the expansion in time and place, and connect it back to the one. This is what David asks, because... The eyes, the human eye, has the ability to do many things and many complex things. Some people use their eyes to spy on other people, how the neighbor clean their windows, how they park their car, and so on. This is not the intention. What David asks is to be able to see in every moment of his life, the relation between the source and its deed and its expression in time and space. So, this was our little conversation for today. We wish you a beautiful day and wonderful week. Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to hear more about a certain topic, just write us an email to hebrew at learnoutlife.com. We are always happy to hear from you. For more episodes, videos, and articles like this, please visit our website at hebrew.learnoutlife.com. We also would like to invite you to join our live classes. Just search for Online College of Biblical Hebrew on Facebook and start learning now with students from all over the world. Kol Tuv and Shalom.